One of my favorite guest actors is Ellie Woods, who is also one of my very good friends. The sketch that I most love her in is Extremely Real People and Definitely Not Actors, which was written by Mike Trapp. Ellie has this ability to go from zero to 60 in a matter of seconds. And on set that day, you could kind of feel like everyone absorbing her energy. And it was just a really fun shoot day. So please enjoy. Here it is. Come on in, come in, come, make yourself comfortable. Thanks for coming down today, taking time out of your real normal person jobs. Why don't you give these flashlights a try? All right. Whoa! Whoa. What? <laughs> Oh, that's really bright. Yeah, sure, it's a flashlight. Yeah, really crisp. What if I told you that these flashlights you're holding right now are powered by Omnivolt batteries? No. Oh, what? What? No. Yes. Come on, are you pulling my leg? I'm not. <laughs> Omnivolt batteries. That's right. You said that. Yeah. You're telling me that the blue bottom battery is powering all of these right now? What if I told you that Omnivolt batteries won the HD Fortifer Award oh, in quality manufacturing? No. Uh, are you shitting me right now? I'm not. Fuck off. I can't. They did it. They did. Fuck the fuck off. I wish I could. <laughs> the the HG HG Fortifer Fortifer Award. Award. An award that all of you as real people are very well aware of. This is the craziest shit I ever heard in my life. Yeah. That's not all. Omnivolt won it three years in a row. No, you shut up. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> There's still energy in here. No. The batteries live. What is there is no god but Omnivolt. All oh, hail Omnivolt! And did you know that Omnivolt was rated the second Shut most reliable battery Shut among a survey of 200 consumers self described as the primary purchaser of household goods within their family? Oh, <laughs> well, I am impressed. I'm gonna buy some Omnivolt products tonight. Excuse me, I have to get to an audition. My favorite guest star is Lou Wilson, truly one of the funniest individuals. This sketch is called Stuck in a Conversation, written by the incredible Rekha Shankar. I love it not only because it's extremely relatable, and good lord, what is worse than getting cornered at a party by somebody who truly has nothing to say, but also Lou is in it not once nor twice, but thrice. And uh, count me in, triple the Lou for the price of one, hell yeah. Go ahead and take a look at Stuck in a Conversation. Hey, Reka. Oh, hey, good to see ya. Good to see you too. <laughs> How are you? Good, 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 good. Just got a deadline that I'm working on, you know? Totally. Yeah. So, uh, I'm actually working on a new project. Oh, cool. Oh, but I should really get back to it. I actually uh, think you'd really like it. It's uh, about these two hogs, right? And one is a girl hog, and the other one's also a girl hog. And it's about kind of their friendship, right? Uh, but it's also like a modern retelling of La La Land. I'm just very excited to be like working on my own stuff now because I don't have to wait anymore. Like I just spent so much of like I feel like my 20s waiting. Rekha, Rekha, do you read? Huh? You are stuck in a conversation vortex. I repeat, you are stuck in a conversation vortex. Being 20 and in Hollywood and being like, what am I supposed to be doing? Do not panic. Remain calm. I need you to do the following. Gently say, like, ha ha yeah, I should really get back to work. Okay. Haha, yeah. I should really get back to work. Totally. You know, you're such a hard worker. See, that's why I want to like collaborate with you and stuff. Like, it's funny, I was at this film festival. God damn, it's stronger than we thought. Uh, okay, now take both your hands, lightly tap your hips and say, well, and then start to get up to leave. Well. Sometimes I'm just like, what do people in the city do to relax? Mayday, Mayday! The signals aren't working! Okay, Rico, remain calm. Just just slowly put your headphones like, back into your ears. You know, like, you're working. That's right. We're gonna get you out of this. You know, it's like, I get it. Like, you have to grind, but it's like, That's like why I want to work with you, you know? Because you like, oh, no. don't get it. You He's know? taking a safe stand. Like, break over, send it back up. Look out for Alan with the rope. You know, just like floating around, like, blah, 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 blah. I gotcha. 
I got you! Oh, what's up, Allie? Hey, you know Kevin, right? What a great dude. <laughs> no, fool me up, fool me up. He's too boring. <laughs> I actually have to go to the bathroom, so I'll catch you later. Later, Allie. No! <laughs> anyway, my band is playing tonight. If you want to get the gang together and come through, I think we're actually going to have two bass players, which would be, like, really cool. And, like, just for the sound stuff. Hey, guess what song this is? <laughs> So, no? right? I mean, Where were you born? Oh, shit. Sure. Well, it's from the like, movie, remember? And then, like, they go to kiss, and then it's like... It's like <laughs> no, it's like, it's like really important right? to me. What? They're, they're like kissing. I can't talk right now, okay? <laughs> you interrupted me? Yeah, I did. My mechanism to steamroll. Uh, everything I've ever known, it, it, it breaks down when you interrupt me. Well, good. Sorry, it's just, I have a lot of work to do. That's fine, I was, it's just, you know, I wanted someone to listen, to, to, to care, to share my stories with. Okay, it's but... Just, I feel like nobody really notices me, you know? And it's like, they see me, but it's like, do they really notice me? And, uh, you know, I just feel like, like, do you see me oh, as no. like a real person? Sad conversation vortex! I've just been really down lately. And you're such a good listener. I like to think I'm somebody, and then I look at myself and I just be like, what am I doing? My favorite guest star for Call Jammer has been John Milheiser. He's been in Hitler is a Teen Girl, Noises That Dads Make, uh, but my favorite appearance he's made was in The Straightest Dude Ever, written by Jessica Ross. It really highlights just like when guys perform their straightness at you at like parties and things. And my favorite part of that sketch is probably when they are in awe of how straight he is. And one of the descriptors they give is like, yeah, it's really cool, he smells like shit. I think that's such a perfect like straight dude descriptor. He's also doing the weird like rap hands thing during that that I think is very funny where he's like rapping at no one. He's just super funny in that sketch and I think you should watch it. So please check it out. Hey! <laughs> Sorry I'm late. No worries, thanks for coming. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, by the way, I brought my friend John. I hope that's okay. God, why do you have to bring John? Who's John? He's one of those straight guys that's always shoving it in your face. He's flaming straight. Ooh, ooh. What's up, guys? Cool party. You need me to fix your fuse box? Nope. John, fuse box is fine. Just try to enjoy yourself. Don't nut at me! No homo. You guys want a beer? Yeah, I'll take a beer. Oh, it's warm. You guys got a lighter? Do you smoke? No. Did you see the game last night? What game? It was baseball, but that was just... What? Oh, man, that guy's so straight he doesn't even finish conversations properly. Okay, but don't you think he's acting just a little bit too straight? I mean, look, I don't have a problem with it, but some people do. Does he have to wipe his hands on his pants? Is that a straight guy thing? Yeah. Straight as the 40 yard line. He has like doing rap arms, but he's not even rapping. Oh, I bet he freestyles though. Scratching the back of his head a lot. He looks like maybe he's hurt. That's so straight. Man, I've always wanted like a super straight friend, you know? I mean, it's pretty fun. He smells like shit all the time. What about me? Shh. He's pretending to drum sets right in front of him. Classic straight guy move. He's rocking out. Oh. Whoa, nice sunglasses. Got him at a gas station. Cool. You got a lighter? No. Fuck. Whoa. He's as straight as a long piece of dried spaghetti. Zach, I didn't know your friend John was straight. Okay, how can you tell he's straight? He's got that, like, straight voice. He's like a not gay James Dean. James Dean was gay? Yeah. Really? Big time gay. Really? I don't know. Your stud's here if you want to hang something. Thank you! I'm straight too, you know. I just don't feel like flaunting it. Okay, Raph, that's coming on a little bit too strong. See, he's just straight. Straight as a boomerang that doesn't function properly because it's so straight. If he puts his hands down his pants. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, yeah! I bet he's the type to really take charge in the bedroom. I really want him to tell me how to look, dress, think, and feel. He's a jerk! I know! He's checking out the TV. He's checking out the TV! Panasonic? Yeah, it's a Panasonic. Okay. Okay, okay, what? Is that good? Bad? Panasonic what? <laughs> Yo, chill out, man. Yeah. You got a lighter? You already asked me that. Look, 
you're straight, okay? We all know that. There was never a doubt in our minds you're straight. You don't have to shove it in our faces all the time, okay? It's too much. That's not even straight. That's gay as hell. What are you doing? Oh. Hi. Yo, if I could get real for a sec. I know a lot of people don't accept me because I'm so straight. But you know what? I may know how to fix a light switch, but I ain't one. I can't turn off my straightness. Yeah? I'm straight. <laughs> I'm straight. Love it or leave it. Yeah? If you excuse me, I gotta go sharpen my knife collection. I would like to talk about a very talented individual uh, known as Avery Monson. A sketch he was in recently from our series, The Shining, Ghosts Get Caught Having Weird Sex. This is so funny to me. Uh, this was a sketch that Zach Oyama wrote about that one particular quick scene in The Shining where we very briefly glimpse a man in a tuxedo getting a blowjob from a guy in a bear suit. Uh, and then everything just moves on. Uh, and Zach just extended that scene. Just imagined like, well, it's embarrassing to get walked in on like that. What if we saw their perspective? So please enjoy. Ghosts get caught having weird sex. Katie! 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 This is embarrassing. I thought I closed that. Yeah, well, you didn't, Frank. The door's wide fucking yeah, open. Yeah, I, I know that now! I said I was gonna put on something more comfortable, close the door, and sit on the bed. She probably didn't even see anything. She was probably just like, whoa, that's something weird, and then kept going, because there's a lot of weird stuff happening I right now. I can't see shit in this mask. Okay, well, she's gone now. So where were we? <laughs> Here's so oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god, I'm so Come sorry. On. I'm oh. so sorry. I'm what are you doing? We just go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, should I close this? Get out of here. Okay. 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 Sorry again. Sorry. Katie. Katie. Well, this is just mortifying. Come on. It's not that bad. For you, maybe. I'm the freak in the bear suit. You're just the big man getting his dick sucked through a mask. Oh, honey, you can't think about it like that. Besides, isn't it kind of fun somebody saw us? Oh. God, it's just experiment after experiment with you, isn't it? Okay, fine, whatever. Jesus, I spent 500 bucks on this hotel room! Like it matters to you. You come from money. Why do we always end up arguing about money? Fine, I'll drop it! I don't know why you're so upset anyway. Everyone can see me, no one knows who you are. No one even knows who I am? So I'm just another faceless bear to you. It doesn't matter what's under the mask as long as you get to fuck it. God, I didn't say that. Come on. I just said nobody knows your face or your name. Well, I have a name. It's Carter Ryan Pritchard. And I was born in Seattle and I was raised in New Hampshire. My mother was a professional dancer and my dad worked at a soap factory. What? I I hate jazz and I've always wanted a summer in Tuscany. What you... I've been on two boats and I can't read or write. I am Carter Ryan Pritchard. And I am a proud bear man. As well you should be. My name's Franklin Joseph Baker. And my whole deal is I just want a bear to suck my dick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's make that happen for you. Yeah. Would you look at that? The door opened all by itself. My favorite guest star in a college humor sketch is Jacob Waisaki. Easily. He played Brad, Katie's boyfriend, in every hospital scene ever. Katie wrote this sketch that was sort of like people with serious injuries in the hospital just ripping out their IVs like they do in the movies. There were a few times where I was doubled over by the monitor trying to hold in my laughter and not ruin the take. 
that guy has so much energy, it's nuts. There was a lot of a lot of prop work, but also just a lot of weird stuff that wasn't in the script that just kind of came to life. All these ingredients, plus Jacob, just made for a wild two and a half minutes, and I just ended up really loving this sketch. So please enjoy every hospital scene ever. Katie, 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 Katie. Katie? Where am I? You were in a car accident. Oh, God! No! Uh, Brad! No, please leave these yeah. out. Where the hell is he? I need to find him, Brad! No, no, no. Get, Don't uh, take these out. Get these out of me! How could this happen? You were hit by a minivan going down the highway on the wrong side of the road. Oh, oh God, why? Why? <laughs> you have three broken ribs, a broken leg, severe cuts and bruising, light head trauma, but we believe you'll make a full recovery. God, get these the hell off me! Katie, these are important. Brad! Katie! Brad! Can you hear me? Katie, can you hear me? We gotta get out of here. They're trying to get us. I think they think we're aliens. They put a bunch of tubes in us. Get these oh. tubes off of me! Can leave that in? I'm of this world! We're human! You don't put your tubes in me, I don't want this! We're not prisoners! Honey, I'm pushing. Katie, I've got bad news. What? I totaled the minivan. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. It's gone. It's dust. Babe, as long as you're okay, I don't care! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We do not chew on the IV tube. What do you guys with. They're probably putting mind juice in us. What kind of juice is this? Some government mind control, huh? Morphine. Who are you working with? The FBI? CIA? Putin? Are you Putin? Huh? I'm not Putin. Are you Putin? Huh? Putin? Kaiser. Huh? Kaiser. Yeah. Get this off of me. I need this off of me. Stop putting them back on, man. I want to be a part of you. Please don't make it sensual. Make us one. I want to be inside of you. You feel it? Baby, look at me in the eyes. What? We're not going back to jail. We'll make this a rope. We'll jump out the window. We're on the ninth floor. Get back. We're jumping. Dig deep. Dig deep. Push it. We gotta get out of here! You run like wolves! <laughs> uh, uh, I beat you! Thank you, baby! Get that away from us! We're getting out! Come on, we gotta get out of here! Come on, baby! Uh, we stay back! Get out of here! We're gonna go get on the hog! Let's get out of here, baby! Uh, I'm not going back to jail! You leave him alone, you bitch doctor! Leave him alone! My favorite guest star was Ryan Stanger. This is my very first video. It was called Music Festival Bootcamp. There was a scene in, 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 in the sketch where I sit on a uh, toilet uh, in, in the middle of the park and Ryan is screaming obscenities in my face. Uh, and this was my welcome to college humor, which I wouldn't have it any other way. Move, 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 move! Radio heads up! That's your girlfriend's favorite band. She's gonna be on those shoulders for no less than 30 minutes, and you know she's gonna wanna dance. You just got dumped! This water is $7. Is that a problem? Sure, sure no, no, sir. sir. It's only 16.9 fluid ounces. Do you care? Sir, no, sir! Say hello to your new squad leader. Sir, sir yes, sir. sir! You have a problem with that, Jerry Garcia? Sir, no, sir! Then say hello! Hello, new squad leader! Shit, I didn't know I was teaching fucking manners, too. Ready, shit! You gotta be goddamn kidding me! Are you above getting covered in other people's sweat? Sir, no, sir! Hey, get back there and do it five more times, scumbag! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Move! And go! Time. Jesus Christ, are you even making an attempt to hide your Kirkland signature vodka? Sir, yes, sir! Because we were in Coachella right now, you'd be in deep shit, motherfucker! Sir, yes, sir! Andre Bocelli could spot those flasks from a mile away. And guess what? The only thing he's known for more than his singing is being blind, you fucking idiot! Sir, yes, sir! You have five bands until Lana Del Rey goes on. Do you love this music? Sir, sir yes, yes sir. sir! Are you sure it's not just a bunch of loud noises? Sir, sir no, sir! Keep moving! 
They just decided to play creep. That never happened. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. Shut the fuck up, grateful dork. Sir, yes, sir. Get your shit sorted out now, sir, God damn yes, it. Sir. Yeah, keys for those motherfuckers. Shove them up your little ass. Maybe that'll make your voice drop. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Right now, you sound like a chipmunk, don't you? Yes, sir, yes, sir. You sure you don't love this music? Sir, yes, sir. Yes, the answer is no, you dumb motherfuckers, because in fact you do love this music. Sir, sir yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes, that's right, you gutless motherfuckers. I'm a black beetle, Crimson's in the regal. John Lennon lands his life to see him spread eagle. Damn, check, check, check. Which chipmunk would you be? I'd be Avatar. Bullshit, you'd be Alvin. Sir, it'd be Theodore, sir. Theodore, that's right. Well, if you're Theodore, I'm Dave, motherfucker. Please don't make me do it. It's so dirty. You must be crumb dumb, shithead. You think the toilet at Lollapalooza is going to be clean? Sir, no, sir. I was at Woodstock in 94, and I got shit all over my ass. You think I whined about it? Sir, no, sir. You just bought the rest of the squad 20 roof raises. Everybody no. arms up. Arms up, up, down, up, down. Sir, okay, sir. Sir, okay, sir. We're learning shit today, you stinky piles of garbage. You don't know yes. shit for brain. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Tato, 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 tato. Now you're making some music. Yes, sir. You ain't got no more TP. Oh, sir, yes, sir. You're all out of TP. Sir, yes, sir. I hear those chicken shit turds in the water <laughs> right now as we speak. <laughs> you're going to have to use the cardboard. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. You gotta use that goddamn cardboard. Sir, yes, sir! Process that! I'm the... Sir. I don't want to go anymore. Are you guys having fun? Sir, yes, sir! I can't hear you. I said, you pieces of shit having fun? Sir, sir yes, sir! I fucking dance! Hey guys, it's Brennan from College Humor. Click here to subscribe, click here for more fun stuff, and please keep watching, because if you stop watching, I start to vanish. You get it? I'm not really real, I'm just a thing on your screen. <laughs> Don't forget me!